Hey everyone, Jad here. Target selection is one of the most overlooked yet important parts of teamfighting. Especially for marksmen, selecting the correct target can be one of their most crucial skills. In Game 2 of Cloud9 vs Team Envy from Week 4 of the NALCS, Sneaky achieved the first pentakill of the 2016 Summer Split due to his excellent target selection and positioning. In teamfights, marksmen should be hitting the closest available target. However, if a higher threat target comes into range, it's important to retarget swiftly to deal with that threat. So, before we get into the fight, let's order the threats on Envy's team. The two biggest damage dealers on Envy are Ninja's Ezreal and Lod's Lucian. Therefore, they rank highest on the list. After that, Seraph's Hecarim with Trinity Force is third due to his combination of crowd control and damage. Proxen's Rek'Sai and Hakuo's Braum would be the lowest threat targets due to their lower damage output. Now, let's get into it. The fight begins rather chaotically, with Seraph charging towards Meteos' Elise to try and catch him out of position. Bunny Fufu's Thresh lanterns Meteos to safety, then catches Ninja with a hook. Below them, Envy was trying to throw damage onto Impact's Aurelia, who flashed away. With the hook landing on Ninja, Jensen's Cassiopeia looks to get damage onto him, prompting Envy to try and catch Jensen out. Proxen flashes over the wall to knock Jensen up, then Seraph alts in to try and burst him down. It's important in chaotic fights like these to keep target priority in mind. Cloud9, and Sneaky on Ash in particular, does an excellent job of focusing on the right targets. Envy, on the other hand, make mistakes tunneling on less optimal targets. As Seraph alts in, Sneaky manages to avoid him and begins dealing unreal damage. Sneaky alts Seraph for a short CC, then begins hitting him with Ranger's Focus. However, when Ninja shifts over the wall to try and complete the kill onto Jensen, which Jensen avoids with his Zonny's Hourglass, Sneaky immediately switches targets to Ninja. Why? Because Ninja's Ezreal is the top damage dealer on Envy and the highest threat. The instant target change by Sneaky, as well as the hook attempt from Bunny Fufu's Thresh, force Ninja to flash away for his life and allow Sneaky to continue bombarding Envy. The best example of Envy's tunnel vision can be seen here. Hakuho tries to continue on the call to kill Jensen without realizing that Sneaky would be the correct target. Sneaky is the highest threat closer to the rest of Envy's team. Instead of using Braum's ultimate onto Sneaky and the rest of Cloud9, Hakuho flashes to try and land an ultimate onto Jensen, who's too far out of the range of the rest of Envy to follow up on. With Sneaky free of crowd control, he's left to continue picking the perfect targets. Laud moves in on Lucian and actually goes for burst onto Meteos instead of Sneaky and forces Meteos to repel. Sneaky, again, is near instant in his retargeting and directs his ranger's focus towards Laud to quickly burst him down. It's worth noting that Jensen still managed to contribute to the fight by throwing Miasma over the wall, preventing Laud from flashing to safety. While focusing Laud down, Sneaky's hurricane bolts actually finish off Hakuho for the first kill of the fight. Laud falls next, then Sneaky retargets onto Seraph, who's the next highest threat in range. Again while focusing Seraph, Hurricane Bolts kill another member. Proxen drops, and Sneaky finishes Seraph shortly after. This shows the damage potential of Hurricane Ash, as Sneaky picked up four kills in the span of three seconds. Right after picking up the Quadra, Sneaky immediately turns on Ninja, flashing over his Mystic Shot and pegging him to complete the Pentakill. Looking back, it was a combination of poor target selection by Envy, as well as spectacular target selection by Sneaky, that led to this insane Pentakill. Had Sneaky been focused by Envy, it's unlikely that he could have dealt such immense damage to Envy throughout the fight. Sneaky managed to maximize his damage by constantly hitting what was in range, and also by changing to higher threat targets the instant they came into range. Perfect marksman play. On Envy's end, they missed out on some crucial opportunities to threaten Sneaky and paid the price. All told, Sneaky was an absolute beast in this fight. He dealt the most damage we've seen yet in Teamfight Breakdown, with 11,745 damage to champions in this teamfight alone. With the Pentakill, C9 closed out the series against Envy 2-0 and ended Week 4 with a 6-2 record in the 2016 NALCS Summer Split standings. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.